everyone welcome back so this is the set of nails i'm going to be sharing with you today i did some hand painting i did some marbling and i am going to start by showing you the colors i used i used madame glam's caribbean sea and it was a little darker than the color i needed that the client chose so i'm going to mix it with white so you'll just see me doing that till i get the right color that i'm going for so as you guys know from my previous video, I said I was doing a lot of press-on nails. It's just the trend right now because nobody can come to the salon and get their nails done. I'm in Canada and the province I am in, I can't start up till phase three and we are just starting phase one now. So at least my clients are still able to have pretty nails and it's amazing how long these are staying on. I had mine on for two and a half weeks and I decided to soak them off and they were still on good. So I probably could have got three weeks out of them, if not more. Like I said, that's what I'm doing mainly. So I'm showing you the designs I'm doing mainly on tips right now because of course I can't work with clients. Okay, so I finally have it the right color that I'm going for. So I'm just gonna grab the pinky tip and I'm going to do uh, one coat and cure it for 30 seconds and I'll be doing two or three coats of this color on just the pinky. So the next Madame Glam polish I'm using is Delicate Beauty. I ended up putting it on a palette and using just a normal brush just because I'll be doing some drawing with this color as well. So I had just stuck it on there for that reason. So I'll do two coats of this and cure each one again for 30 seconds. So the next nail I'm going to be doing is going to be more of a marble type nail. So I'm using Cafe Au Lait as my base and I'll just do one coat of that and cure it for 30 seconds. So now I'm using my UR Sugar Blooming Gel. It's a clear one and I'm just gonna put a thin layer on it and I will not cure it because I'm gonna be taking the colors that I've used on the other nails and marbling them so they disperse nicely in the Blooming Gel. So once I'm happy with where those colors dispersed in the blooming gel, then I cure it for 60 seconds. Now I'm taking some white airbrush ink. And the reason I'm using this is I'm going to place it on top of the colors, the marble, and it gives a really nice white smoky look. And I'm dispersing the ink with isopropyl alcohol. I just like the smoky kind of foggy look it gives to the marble nail. And you can see in the top right hand corner, the card of the video where I did the white quartz nail nails using the white airbrush ink.
So once I'm happy with the white airbrush ink, I will put it aside and let it dry. So the next two nails, I'll be adding delicate beauty to them. So I'll be doing two coats on each nail. So now on the ring fingernail, I'm going to be adding some layering of leaves. So I will start with the Cafe Alle and I will do that leaf design and then I will cure it for 30 seconds. And then you'll be seeing me use the Caribbean Sea mixture of the white to do another leaf design in a different area of the nail. And then I'll finish off with using Madame Glam's Perfect Black and doing a, the same leaf design in a different area on the nail as well. So I'll just let you guys watch me do that.
So now that all my layers are done, I'm gonna let that black here for 30 seconds as well. And I'm going back to the marble nail and I'm just adding a little bit more white. So just kind of give it some dimension a little more. So going back to the leaf design, I'm just adding a little bit more of the green leaves down at the bottom and then it'll cure again for 30 seconds once I get that done. Now that I have the design completed, I'm taking my Madame Glam Velvet Matte Top Coat and it'll cure for 60 seconds. And when I do press on nails, I always do two coats of the product just to make sure that those nails stay nice for two, three weeks that she'll have them on. So this nail is now curing for 60 seconds and there it is matted. It has so much dimension to it. It's so pretty. Hopefully the camera picks that up. And here's the set completed. It was so pretty. It was one of my favorite sets I've done. I just love the color combination with the leaf design and the marble nail. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And here's my client Nelfi she sent me. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.